I'm interested to talk to you about this because you grew up in Nebraska as part of the, yes. the biggest black family in the entire state. Now, every year, you would have a huge family reunion in Omaha. What does that look like? What's that big family reunion like? Oh, my God, it's amazing. Um, there's a week's worth of activities. We've got talent shows. We've got fish fries. We have a parade uh, down the, you know, down a, a thoroughfare in the middle of north, uh, the north side of Omaha. Um, yeah, and then the, the, and then culminating in the big picnic on the second Sunday of every August. And I believe we just had our 104th. Um, oh, wow. This last August, yeah. It's amazing. We have a huge family. Um, so huge that there have been some cousin dating on accident, allegedly. <laughs> um, ah. You know, you don't find out to the picnic. You know, like, oh. <laughs> now, what, <laughs> now, what happens at this picnic? What do you do? Okay, so the first part, everyone has their own tents and, and there's like the competition of the t-shirts. So every part of the family designs their own t-shirts and there's a big competition over the t-shirts. Who's got the best t-shirt? And then you go into the races and the races start, uh, you race like the three and four year olds, five and six, and you every, every family, every little uh, quadrant of the family sends their best delegates. It's like the Olympics. Um, wow. And for many years, we were like the USA. Uh, we were, we killed. Um, every race, you know, we were, you know, dominating. And then the talent, and then the, um, the dance contest. And again, it starts from like the little, little guys all the way through the seniors. And um, if you win the races and the dance contest, I don't think you it's win, fair like, to do you know. sports if your husband is Dwayne Wade. <laughs> That's the, how, why do you think we ended up together? It's precisely <laughs> for the family reunion. I was like, oh, we're ready for the races this year. <laughs> oh, we're ready. Now, you I and Dwayne, we have to congratulate baby. you. <laughs> you and Dwayne, you just celebrated your sixth <laughs> wedding anniversary. Congratulations yeah. on that. Who's the bigger romantic out of the two of you? It's not even close. It's Dwayne. Of course it is. Why? What sort of stuff does he do? He's the sweetest. He writes poems. He arranges whole days. He's done scavenger hunts around the city before. Um, no, I mean, he's the one who puts like all the effort in. You know, that like the, the guy that makes the, um, the mixtapes. He's that guy. He does See, it all. I kind of am in love with him. No, uh, yeah, I get it. He's awesome. <laughs> I don't think you do. He's awesome. <laughs> I don't think you do get it. I sort of feel like. <laughs> I feel like you love him, and I feel like I love him, like, it's just a tiny bit more. You probably do. I mean, I think I, I probably take him for granted, and you don't. I would never do. You know what I like about Dwayne Wade? He's a fan of the, of the, the voice message. Loves it. Loves, loves the voice, the message. voice message text. And whenever he's sent me one, I save them. Do you have one? No, there are bites, and then I play. I play them back to myself just if I can't sleep. And he, that deep voice comes through. The deep on the voice, voice comes note. through, and you say, "Hey, man, what's going?" You're like, "Oh, I yeah, get really like, a well, bit, get a bit much." This is hey, man, this is D Wade. Are you enjoying my my underwear? <laughs> is that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I should tell you that I confessed to Gabrielle before the show started that I went to bed last night in a, a pair of D Wade underpants. And I felt yeah. amazing. Listen, <laughs> D weight on your body feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your world because look, everybody, look at Gabrielle Union. So incredible on the cover of Women's yeah. Health magazine. It's a brilliant cover. You look so great. Thank and you. I know, I know that this cover means a lot to you. Now, why is that? Yeah, it was the first time I ever felt like myself and that I was appreciated for showing up as my most authentic self. And I, it was like, sometimes you look at a picture of yourself in a magazine and you don't recognize yourself. And it feels like you've got to be someone else to be, to feel worthy of a magazine cover wow. or to, to get that kind of press. So it was nice for me to have my own little curls, you know, um, on a, on a national magazine and, and to be shot by a black woman, that was huge. It was very empowering and I've never felt better about myself. Well, I mean, you look terrific. You really do. Now, you mentioned bringing on 
earlier. It's 20 years ago, and you can bring it on has really stood the test of time. Hasn't it, gang? It really, yes. really has. Love it. Have you spoken to Kirsten Dunst and the people involved with the film about the possibility of doing a sequel? We, we have. We actually did, like, a public, you know, panel a couple of weeks ago, and they asked about it, and we all were like, we're in. Like, we're absolutely in. So, you heard it here. Is that something that genuinely you think is going to happen? No, absolutely. It's <gasps> absolutely going to happen. I think because, like, we all got obsessed with Cheer on Netflix. Yes. And, you know, it kind of, like, brought back the whole, like, love of cheerleading. And we kind of want to see where these people would be 20 years later. Oh, this is hugely exciting. This right? is hugely exciting, as is your, your new show. Now, let's talk about L.A.'s Finest. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, tell them what the show's about and who you play. So we, you know, my character of Sid Burnett that we uh, that we met in Bad Boys 2 almost uh, 20 years ago has uh, relocated to Los Angeles under some mysterious circumstances and partnered up with Jessica Alba's character of Nancy McKenna. They are L.A. detectives fighting crime, kicking butt, um, being the heroes that that uh, that the world needs. And there's like mysteries and there's, you know, amazing stunts and there's some sex, um, <laughs> but it, and it's funny. And it, it really stays in that bad boys, really fun, action packed uh, universe. It's really a fun popcorn type of TV show. It's fantastic. And it's really interesting what's happening with the show right now, because the entire second season comes out today on Spectrum yeah. Video, but Fox is going to air the entire first season later this month, this month. And I think this is the first time that a show will have gone from a streaming service to a network. You must be incredibly excited about this. Yeah, we're excited. We don't exactly know what to expect. We're, you know, we're a little nervous about you know, spoilers. Um, but I think for so many people uh, who missed, you know, who don't have Spectrum, they have a chance to, to watch the show and, and to fall in love, hopefully, with it um, on Fox. So it's exciting. They absolutely were. It's hugely exciting.